Well, we could, that's what, what, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is, what this does is bring us together and we're more organized and we're speaking with one voice that we all agree on. We can vote on it, we can bring it, we can print the papers out, we can pass them out of GA, people can make comments, whatever you guys want to do. I, I would yes. put that if we as a group had, had a statement that encompassed three things, you know, that we could all decide that we're anti-corporate, we're, you know, three simple things, and if we address these three simple things, we can do the head No, Visioning has already done that. I passed that paper out to, to the, to uh, Rainbow Grocery when I went over there. I already got it from them. My concern stems from the fact that the article that you sent out today on the email list, which I don't know if you were using it as an example of material that would be good, but it was by Robert Reed Reifer or whatever, and I know a lot of people have trouble with him. I didn't personally like, like the article, and I didn't think that it was entirely factual. So if it was a factual, and we were talking about statistics, like, say, access to the Sanders report, we thought we were talking about that shows, you know, a, a conservative pedestal, or you know, factual. Right. So, so that, you know, that definition of fact, like, is, is totally tricky. Um, but, like, op-ed pieces, you know. Well, I just look, this, that, that article I had handy, and I liked it, it had six million people out of work due to all the productivity increases for computers and software and the internet. And all those productivity increases are going to the rich and the six million people out of work because the productivity increases. That doesn't help the common working man. That's the only thing I liked out of the article that I thought was the main thing. But just an example. I'm just trying to throw it out there to get people thinking and thinking about what content we put together. I don't care what we put together. Put whatever y'all feel. I don't care. Let's just do it. Let's just do something because if we don't get these outreaches going, we're going to see the same faces next month that we saw five months ago. And we're not going to grow. Can I just, we can probably never respond to the emergency that I'm going to take myself out and speak in response to that because I am involved. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm just trying to answer a question. I won't do that. concentration on, on the negative things and, and addressing those. I would also like to see more mention as to uh, uh, all the wonderful positive things that Occupy is doing and has done and just really push that first. Well, the, I mean, the bottom line we're going to put this together is because we've got a slew of outreach requests. Okay? So before we start satisfying them, we better get our act together with the information we're providing. What do we want to tell people? And when they ask us to talk about something, that they know Occupy stands for because they went to our website. Well, what is that content? So I, mean, I think I see it as a coming together of Occupy instead of everybody pulling in a different direction. Let's work together, create the content, make sure we got good content going out to the public to bring more people into Occupy to make this movement a success because you got success in numbers. Bring more than 99% on. Anybody wants to join us. Great purpose. Eric? As Occupy? You represent yourself when you come to Occupy. Occupy is open to everybody. Therefore, whoever is at Occupy represents whatever they want to represent. When we're at a general assembly, they say what they represent and they get behind those ideas. And if the Occupy San Francisco as a whole wants to support that idea, we do. So we have said our demands. When people say, the one, the three things that they're most here for, 
those are our demands. Each and every single one of us get to choose what we're here for. It doesn't mean we're in agreement with each other. It means that we're here together and that we ask each other for support when we need it. Our demands are as numerous as our individuals are and our individual ideas. Uh, yeah, so I do not oppose your project. It sounds fine to me. It also seems uh, very vague and that it will take a while to get together. Meanwhile, we have these outreach requests. We should just do them, use the best facts we have. Um, the main thing is we should have more than one person at each one, if at all possible, because our style is a diversity of voices like he just had said. Now, if you want, if you can get it together to have a well-researched fact, whatever, that's fine. But we don't need to wait for that because, like you said, this is kind of urgent and, you know, just do our best. Well, I gotta give you a response to that. You know, I personally feel very depressed a lot of times. To the point that I get up in the morning and I wish I was dead. I objectively support what he says. Why? Because there are a lot of people who don't know what we know. They're either going to be our allies or our enemies. I read a little article on the Chronicle about how in Idaho, no, Iowa, they're thinking about, they're going, they want to pass some legislation where people will be forgiven, they will not be, they will not be, there will be no charges brought against them if they use a gun in self-defense. Why? Don't let that because, there. No, let me tell you why, because the media, so, or, or, or the, the, the capitalist class is brainwashing people that have houses like they did in the elections in Mexico to let them believe that private property means they're going to take their houses and their cars. People did not vote for their more radical presidential candidate in Mexico because that's what the news was saying. We need a website. We need something besides our passionate ideas. We can know a little bit and our passion can win people over. We can know a lot and we won't win anybody over. But facts speak for themselves. And this country has been raised on education, on books, on statistics, on, on, on the rate. We need to have this website so that everybody can put in their two cents words. They, it can be enlarged so people can ask questions about it. We're not going to agree all the time with everything everybody says, but we're not, uh, but nobody really does. Democrats have divisions among themselves, so do Republicans. We need to make this movement a victorious movement. Because we are the 99%, but a lot of people don't know that. They think they're part of the middle class, or think they've got a made, and they don't know what the words are going to come, especially with the budget the way it is. Yeah. So, uh, the, the thing about just doing this lickety split and kind of halfway and just come up with some ideas and turn them into a bucket and then go out to the public is uh, suicidal from a movement standpoint. You have to make sure that your the, the presentations you're making to the public are inspiring, make people want to join because you're only going to get so many chances. After a while the public's going to say, you guys are too confusing, I don't know what you stand for, which is the main problem we have now. There's a lot of people say, what are you guys about? You know, you're not clear. You don't have statements, you know, that make it clear for you. So what I'm saying is, for these outreaches, we we damn well better do our best and put our best foot forward, all of us, and putting that information together. That's why I wanted to bring this up at GA, so that we do have a totally democratic, inclusive of everybody process that gets information in. We can we can fact check it. We make sure it's all correct. If we find there's a something that's absolutely baloney 
we can bring that up to GA so the person that wrote it could decide if they want to keep it that way. And we can do anything we want. But the point is, we damn well better take advantage of these outreaches now that we've got them together where people want to hear from us and want to know what we're about and make sure that that data really represents us and is the most inspiring and welcoming kind of information we can create that really makes people want to come.